I am happy to be bringing you a video that is part of the Kwanzaa Reflectathon. This is a readathon that is started by Njeri over at Onyx Pages in celebration of Kwanzaa. Now for those of you who are unfamiliar with Kwanzaa and its seven principles, Kwanzaa is a holiday that is celebrated from December 26th to January 1st, there and about, that celebrates the African American heritage and African diaspora in the Americas. Now. There are seven days of Kwanzaa and for each of the seven days a candle is lit representative of a specific principle assigned to that day. Now for each of these principles and Jerry has picked booktubers to show to you all three books that we feel are representative of these principles. Today, the second day of Kwanzaa, the principle is Kuji Chagulia, self-determination. To define ourselves, to name ourselves, to create ourselves, and to think for ourselves. I have been assigned this topic along with Lucy Reads, whose channel I will link along with the other booktubers who will be participating in Kwanzaa Reflectathon so that you can check out their videos as well because there is a contest that I will tell you about here a little later. Now, again, for this principle, self-determination, I have picked three books that I feel represent these pretty well. The first one is Binti by Nnedi Okorafor. This is an Afro-futuristic novella that is very, very impactful, so do not let the size fool you. Binti is the first person from her home world to be offered the chance to learn in this very prestigious intergalactic school. However, this is not a thing that the people of her family do. They don't travel, they don't leave their home, especially not for things like this. To take this opportunity means she will give up her spot in her family, but it will also mean that she's kind of gaining a spot that her people currently have not had before. So she's charting new waters here and despite the fact that her family considers it you know her leaving them to go to this university she goes and she takes with her all that she's learned from them everything that makes her one of them and she doesn't let any of it go so she kind of takes the new stuff into herself without letting go any of her home world teachings to create this new kind of mesh of a culture that she not even a culture but to just take in this new knowledge without losing any of herself, just making herself different, better, not worse. This was the first book when I learned what principle I was going to have that popped into my head immediately. The second book that I have is Nixia. Nixia is a YA sci-fi and the main character is Emmett who is from a futuristic Detroit. Emmett wins the opportunity to go on this voyage into space that if he wins a competition will give him money to help take care of his family but it'll be a year-long trip. On this journey Emmett learns that everything is not what he thinks it is. He kind of grows up on his own and has to learn very quickly to make up his own mind without any parental advice or input and not just let these people who have him on the ship with these other teenagers just lead him around and tell him these things without thinking or knowing any better. He refuses to let himself become a sheep so he makes himself grow up, he makes himself learn, he makes himself adaptable at the same time he keeps things that he learned from back home in Detroit. It's got a very urban flavor to it and I love this book so much. Emmett embodies this principle to a T. The third book is a very recent one I just got and I am not all the way through it yet but the very like purpose and definition of this book embodies the principle more than anything I've showed you thus far and um, that is Black Enough Stories of Being Young and Black in America. It's a bunch of short stories that have been edited by Ibi the Boy that is essentially they're all about like the definition of of what makes you this thing and how can you hold on to yourself despite what's going on in the world around you. It's a story of a bunch of young adults and their definition of what makes them who they are. How they fit into it without being assimilated into other people's cultures because it's less ethnic, less urban. How they remain like solid in their personality, in their culture, despite people telling them their culture isn't or is this and what they should be or shouldn't be doing. Like every story in here is self-determination. They're all about young adults naming themselves and creating for themselves, thinking for themselves, standing up for themselves. And I'm just, it's incredible so far. I've only read a couple pages and I made myself, okay, I read like one of the short stories inside. I made myself put it down because I'm supposed to be buddy reading it. But 
even though I haven't finished it, I feel like this is perfect for Kwanzaa and for self-determination. So. Now for the explanation of the contest. You can also watch in Jerry's video, which I will link down below in the description box. But, um, two into four chance to win one of seven books. There will be one winner chosen from each principal. You can comment down below. But for each person's video you comment under, you have to be subscribed to their video. But you can comment underneath their video with the books that you think fit the principal that they have assigned. You can also make your own videos um, relating to each of these principles, all of these principles, two, three, four, however many you want to do. I will let you check out Jerry's video for a more in-depth determination of the different things that you can do to enter the contest. Don't forget to go watch Lucy's video and the other videos for the other principles by the other booktubers whose um, channels I will link down in the description box. And happy Kwanzaa!